Hey, what's up there all you space lovers? It's Craziness of the Internet here. We are back again with another video in EVE Online. Now, sometimes we do have to fleet up, but most of the time I do try to stay solo. As for me personally, in EVE Online, I find I have the best fights and the hardest fights when I am solo, not in small gang or in a fleet, but when I challenge myself to take on the small gangs. So today I will be running some power builds, and this one right here is the Ishker. Now, this is a tech 2 assault frigate from the Galente Empire and how I will be running it today is I will be heavily based around my repair amount as the ship itself does give a bonus to the repair amount. Thus I have chose to utilize as much repping percentile as I can including in the boosters. But with that said let's get into the roam. Now remember you guys in the assault frigate your main goal here is to pin down tech 1 frigates and to try and take on small gangs as in EVE Online, the destroyers are designed to destroy frigates, hence the word destroyer because they seek and destroy frigates. Now when they designed and created the assault frigate class, a lot of people may have forgotten over the years with their core design and value. Now it was because of me and some of my ship builds where I design and utilize what I would call a version of a ghetto ADC. It's where I chose to utilize in certain builds a medium ancillary shield booster which would give me that accelerated survivability moments to allow me to win the fight assault damage controls which will give you a unified resistance across the board of almost 100% for about 8 to 10 seconds now understanding that the core design of the assault frigate is to take on three to four frigates as yes it can with piloting control and understanding the build that you have chosen and the small gang that you chose to land upon making sure that you're utilizing all of the percentiles to your advantage on the battlefield. Now in the old days frigates did have a much harder time when it came to tech 1 destroyers and they still do but due to some buffs and debuffs over the years and an increase in tech 2 ammunition frigates with proper piloting and proper modules can still hold their own but when it comes to understanding the assault frigate versus a destroyer the assault damage control will allow you that sustainability against the volleys of a destroyer in in a 1v1 allowing you to be able to recover some of the heavy damage blows that you did take while you are under the cover and safety of your assault damage control while it is activated thus this over time can whittle your opponent down and allow you to win the fight so today i will be seeking out some powerful destroyers and i will be hunting some small gangs if i can i will try and lock down a tech one cruiser because any assault frigate and the best ones in the game to do this are the Minmentar faction as the Minmentar ships have reduced signature radius compared to the other ones thus it is harder for the cruisers to track them so if I do have the chance I will try and lock down a specific tech one cruiser but with that said you guys always make sure that you check your cargo holds before you're leaving and make sure that you are utilized and have a full inventory and today we will be using the power of the t3 boosters and remember you guys that these things will expire soon so as you go to buy them in the market they will slowly and slowly become more and more overpriced because yes they are very powerful and can change the tides of a small fight a bigger fight and even the tides of battle when it comes to huge fleet fights to get you guys to understand this in some capital ships using proper boosters proper implants and your AIR daily cap booster you can with the event boosters increase some capital ship 30 to 40 percent more capacitor and we all know that when the ships get bigger it does become a battle of attrition to the capacitor so being able to increase it almost 50 percent is incredibly strong and i do think that a lot of people pushed aside the power of the boosters and complained more about isk and what they could get out of the events instead of looking at what the game is based upon and that is gaining any percentile advantage that we can so even if it is a booster that's a plus one on the battlefield all right now let's get out there and enjoy the roam okay so i am heading towards the galente and Kaldari faction warfare side of the battlefield. Hopefully we can get some good fights out here. Now remember you guys, my weakness is being alpha off the field so if I get volleyed hard, I can't help rep it. GG. I do have an abyssal ancillary repper on here. See how close he is. He wants to go. Start repping. Rep this one too. It's gonna hurt. Breathe this. 
small motherfucker. Let's get our engine going. I think we're breaking them. I think we're breaking them. Get a little tighter. Hey there, brah! The land still hit. A gift from the abyss. I think we got him here. Steady. There's a slicer, buddy. Down there, long pointed. Burn out of now. Tried to ram scrab me. His mistake. Should have held his position. He's dead now. A module has run out of charges. GG. Try to grab that pod. See ya. Or you guys roll beat up, so we just gotta hit a station real quick and do a fast repair. Now we can check out these kill mails here. So if we look at this one, you guys, it looks like it was properly utilizing the bonus from the destroyer's abilities to give it a repping bonus to the shield boosting. So he does have two medium and ciliary shield boosters, but sadly his resistances is extremely low and he did have a micro warp drive engine. So I was able to control the traversal of the fight and pick the ranges when I did lock it down. And if we look at his friend here who did make the mistake of coming too close to me when I was going to try to slingshot it anyway, it was a little bit of damage bonus and it was a little bit of range bonus and it looks to be the proper kiting build so it does not have an ancillary repper. But other than that, good fight. All right, let's get back out into this one, you guys. I am going to make my way over to the Amar and Minmentar side of the war zones. If we can get some good fights over there. It does look like these guys are engaging one another, so it is going to give me a chance to warp away. Those guys got wrecked. It literally just punched the gate. Hopefully I can catch it. It'll either be ready to bang or it's already aligning out. There he is right there. His drones are out. Get a solid orbit on him. Looks like he's heavy newing me. I'm going to overheat my NOS. Start repping. Catch another rep because he does have a nude on me. Let's do it now. Another rep going. It's making me bleed here. So I'm going to keep my reppers on heavy. The moment I run out of cap, I'm going to ADC. A module has run out of charges. All right, I'm at ADC now. Hopefully that allows me to survive for this cap burn here. Nice. Got that cap rep in there. GG, buddy. GG. All right, you guys, now if we take a look at his build, it looks like he was a heavily based DPS and armor tanked build, and he did have a small newt, which almost did break me. Good fight, Drizzle. I quickly went to another system one jump over, just in case they had reinforcements and friends, because it looked like they did in loco, so I will repair here and then continue on my roll. Docking permission requested. Now that I am wrapped up, let's keep hunting these small little groups. Has All right, the Tristan lowered. did come in. I don't see a newt from the Tristan. Post. It looked like it was my plexing fit. Yeah, it was. All right, you guys, I made sure to drop off my loot. There is a Thrasher fleet issue in here. See if it wants to bang. 22 away. Could be Kitey. See if I can cut it off. Rock 10 WD. Also, there's an Ares on scan. Up to the beacon in case the Ares comes back in. But the Ares isn't coming in. My thermal should be able to catch him very easily. Just chilling. He doesn't even hit me yet. He's having like tracking issues. If he does keep this up, he should burn himself out. That's the funny part. See, I think he's capping out now. He's having cap issues. I might be able to tag him now. Yep. I was able to pin him now. Start repping. So you guys always stay calm when you're engaging. Know that you can outsmart your opponent with good piloting skills. Ooh! Be 
next time you learn to control your cap a little more and for a show on low C. GF. We can see that he was rocking the 250mm artilleries, but he did cap himself out with his micro warp drive engine. That is what I was noticing that started to happen to him and what I was trying to force out of him as well. If we do take a look at our ship, we can see that we have acquired a good number of kill marks and our goal at wrecking destroyers and small gangs that are frigate size is working out well so far in our favor. Okay, we are back in Zarzak now and I did manage to defeat another small gang that is why we have three more kill marks on this ship but sadly i do not have it recorded so if we just go like this and we quickly go over the kills you guys we can see that i did engage a republic fleet fire tail a rifter and a punisher and it was a pretty good fight and i am pretty sad that i do not have the footage to show you but that sometimes just is how it goes now if we quickly look at the republic fleet fire tail one of the three frigates out of the small gang that we did engage and defeat we can see that it was utilizing the old ram and scram so it does have a micro warp drive engine and a warp scrambler and on top of that it was utilizing its full ability and agility from the Minmintar republic and it was a dual prop ship using a 1mn afterburner 2 on top of that now just in case some of you guys do not know there is some tricks that you can do with the republic fleet fire tail and this player is utilizing it right now especially when it comes to any of the close range brawlers you can use the tracking speed disrupting script or you can switch it to negate the range as you can see right here she does have the optimal range disruption script and she probably should have locked that one down but being the ishker allowed me to utilize my 80 to 120 dps of drone damage and no matter how much she messed with my guns and the utility of my weapon systems i was still able to apply damage to her somehow good fight tesha and when it comes to the rifter you guys we can see that it was a brawling rifter now this is one of the proper styles and versions of the build there is many different styles and versions to the brawling rifter build but the proper way it should be utilized is with the control of a 400 plate and a small ancillary armor repper now like i said there is other ways that you can utilize and build into the rifter for your own personal designs but you do get the best percentile outputs that you would want out of a build in any ship when you use this style of a brawling build good fight and finally when we look at thomas here he was rolling with the 20,000 ehp but it sadly was around 17 to 18,000 because to make it over the 20,000 ehp mark they should be utilizing small trimark armor pump twos but as you can see down here he does have small trimark armor pump ones and he is utilizing the defensive capabilities of the punisher by adding on these resistances adding to the natural resistance of the skill base of the ship and using two 400 millimeter roll tungsten plates now this is a powerful build and you will come across it many times over in faction warfare but sadly the only downfall to this build is that it is designed heavily for tackle so if you use an afterburner it almost becomes pointless to fly it because you have so much mass and you are using two 400 millimeter plates thus you are extremely slow so the only basis you would really want to go is with a micro warp drive engine but when you do this other players can lock you down with an afterburner scram and a web making it so it's incredibly hard for you to track with your weapon systems and even hit them or apply but good fight thomas i did have to quickly get some new boosters and there is an executor navy issue in here i am gonna go for it as this thing has served me well your security status has been lowered I have to get into a tight orbit as fast as I can. Pretty sure if I maintain my orbit, oh, he's going to do it on me. Pretty sure if I maintain this orbit, oh, oh am I in? Am I in? It's gonna be hard, you guys. Control. Stay on him. Yeah, look good here. Motherfucker. Down now. I can't let my afterburner die. I gotta keep my traverse up here. Let's go, baby. Stay on him. A module has run out of charges. I need to be down. I need to go for an ancillary hit. 
that's my pistol reference. Don't burn this out. I'll wait for that new hit. Come in, there it is. Nice. Try to lock him up. GF. There is a Thorax and Omen Navy issue in here. I am going to try in third party. They are in the enemy militias of each other, so I am going to get on them as quickly as I can. Your security status has been lowered. It does look like the Thorax just won right now as well. It does look like the Thorax just won right now. Let's try and get on it. Stay close. He's got me webbed, so I gotta make sure that I keep my afterburner on. I was hoping to get in on both of those, but finish this guy off right here. The life of a pirate. Snag him. Remember, we do have our abyssal repper, repper right now. Try to grab this pod. Snag them. Never know. GF boys. Alright, we are back in the station now, you guys. And that cruiser did secure our 10th kill. So if you guys have never seen one right there, there you go. That is what 10 kill marks on a ship does look like. And each one of our fights has been hard and fought well. I did scavenge both of those wrecks for the things that I could carry and bring back to the station because it is good to always pick up all of the extra loot and come back and sell it later one day because that is still 14.3 million worth of stuff. All right, let's repair our ship right now. Now that we're all repaired up, we can continue on our roam. I am about to do a super risky maneuver as there is a caracal over here in this medium advance. Now remember you guys, caracals are designed to destroy frigates at an extremely fast rate. Hopefully he's not kitey and I can get in here on him. Might be able to get him here you guys. Your security status has been lowered. scram on him. He doesn't lock me yet. Not sure why. Started to lock me now. I need to keep my afterburner on again because he is going to be hitting me with missiles. And I do want to nullify that explosion velocity and try to keep the trail of the explosion behind me. Also, I do need to keep my scan up just in case. And then we keep an eye on his life right here and see if he is resting. Activate my repper now. I'm just gonna pull my drones in for a second here, just so I can launch some thermal drones and some more DPS out of the field. And then I am going to keep my weapons now until I can't keep them anymore and see if I can apply some pressure to break this caracal. I think we are over repping, so I'm gonna turn that off. He is trying to get away by manually piling on the screen and aligning for different Celestials, but I don't think that's gonna help him here because I do have him pinned down. I'm gonna rep now. Six more cycles of my red heated weapon. One. Uh, my lead half damage. I need to start breaking this guy. In case he's pulling for things, there is 28 other people in local, but he is starting to break. I need my weapon now. So I really wrapped it. We are managing to keep the explosion velocity behind us. There's the trail right there. Alright, he's starting to break now. Let's see if we 
get his pod. Well, you guys, I did quickly dock it. We can see our 11th kill mark right there, and I am going to drop off the loot that I did get from that player. So we just click it all like this. Don't need those. So we can see that was another 4 million, so it does slowly add up as together. That's about 20 million on top of the other stuff that we did get. So now that we're ready to roll, let's continue on. All right, you guys, I have been jumping around for some time, but there is a few targets located in the system. Sadly, I won't be able to take on five cruisers, but let's try to get this guy. Now, they will volley you out extremely fast, so I might have to pop my ADC right away. Let's get him. Your security status has been lowered. He hasn't locked me up yet. Uh, shoot him up. Get some more drones. I'm doing some Omni damage. Oh, he's starting to shoot me now. Start repping. Just trying to approach him. I think we got him here. Good play, brother. Oh, right on my way back, I did spot a Merlin. Let's see if we can just snag him fast. He is on the beacon. Here we go. He hasn't started targeting me yet. He's farming. I think he's just orbiting the beacon. Right here, I'm going to turn my app to turn off so that I can kind of track him. I think I'm going to start him now. I think that just might be a little too late. Let's do it. All right, you guys, I am back in Zarzak now, and you can see on our ship that we do have our 13 kill marks right here. So we did have a successful roam on this one, and we were able to stash a lot of our loot. Now, when it comes to the other ships that we did engage and the one that we did third party, when the cruisers from the militia were engaging one another, we can see that Onions right here, his ship was a heavy ram and scram style vessel, and its main design was to pump out heavy amounts of damage while it absorbs your heavy volleys hopefully piercing through your pure dps ship having his ability to buff his with the 800 millimeter tungsten but it was still a good fight and if we look at sin's caracal fight here you guys we had this thing completely pinned down he did not have any utility control whether that was from a scram or a web this could utilize really well in fleet combat if it did have the ability of tackle and lock because it would have a lot of hit points but it was no match for us being able to lock him down and fully control the fight but still good job and good fight so we are going to end the video series here and i hope you guys did enjoy the fights and see the power and utility of the ishker and the main design and role of an assault frigate and it does not matter which one you choose because all of the assault frigates you guys are good in their own design and their own way remember in eve online no ship is better than the other each ship is situational and some ships are better at different situations than the other ship so do take that into consideration when you are roaming i do hope you guys are all staying safe out there god bless and i'll catch you in the next one peace